you catch me on a dark, dank day testing some heavy 2-2 pellets. And what I really want to know now is what's the power coming out the end of that barrel. And that means I've got to break out the chronograph. There simply has to be an easier way than this. Let me tell you, now there is. Five hundred fifty-two. Five hundred forty-five. And now you know, there clearly is a better way. Watch on. Let me introduce to you the FX Airgun's wireless radar operated chronograph. And the simplicity of the chronograph is that it's just this little box that you put under the barrel at the front of your gun. Nine hundred. One, nine hundred, one, eight hundred, ninety-nine. The clever thing is that little box connects to your smartphone. You download the FX Radar app, you start it up. As soon as we go in, first thing you can do is you can check the manual. And it's a very, very simple manual guide. It tells you where is best to place the radar. And you can come back out and you can go into settings. And you can select the unit readout it's going to give you, which is basically the speed, feet per second, kilometre per hour, joules, etc. You can change your radar return. So if you're in a clustered environment or a windy environment with branches and things like that moving around, you can decide how accurate you want that radar return to be. You can then also change your pellet weight. Really simple. So if I want to go 15.89, that's it, 15.89. If I want to go back to 25.4, very simple. You can turn your audio on and off, so whether or not you get shout outs. And also, very interestingly, you can change between air guns and bows, should you so wish. So there we go, very simple settings. You go back, because it's Bluetooth and because the radar is powered on, it already sees it and finds it, and you press connect. Give it a second, and there we go. The chronograph is sat waiting, ready for your first shot. The top screen will tell you all sorts of information, but it does tell you when you are connected to the chronograph, which is always good to see. The other thing it does is it gives a constant battery readout of the chronograph, which is just there. Now I've been using the chrono for about four or five hours now, and the little AAA batteries inside are running down. So it's telling me to change them over. And the unit, as I say, takes three AAA batteries. It's easy to unscrew the cover, swap them over, and then you're good to go again. 900. The bonkers thing with this is that it's not affected by light. It's quite dark in here when I'm at the range and it's light out there. And I haven't got to worry about lighting conditions, which makes things so much easier. In fact, I'm shooting groups over the chronograph and it's calling out to me what my numbers are as I go. But like I say, you could shoot this in the dark, you could shoot this in dim light, bright light, because it's working on that radar system, your lighting conditions aren't an issue. 900, 1, 900, Now, I've adapted my setup already, as you can see. The little tripod leg on the bottom doesn't come with it. That's a little Joby mount that you can pick up for a few pounds off Amazon. And then that over there is a mobile phone holder I use for my filming. I'm using it like that just so it's working better for the camera today. You can just prop your phone up however you want, of course, but it is just such a simple system. 900, four. When changing between calibers, you only need to change the pellet weight if you want the display to show the joules output when you're shooting. 794, 798, for those of you that like to tune and make adjustments, let me show you just how useful this is. And remember, I'm shooting groups. 666. 666, that's the devil's number, that's really good. But look, watch. Little bit of adjustment. And then I shoot again. 
687. Now I can instantly see the change in feet per second from the adjustment I've made, and I can instantly instantly see the change downrange as to where the pallet's gone because of the adjustment I've made, because I'm shooting groups with ease. Look. 684. Look at that. And if I then go a little bit more. Seven hundred forty-four. Look at that, and I see exactly where the pellet's gone as a different different point of aim, and I can see exactly what my feet per second change is. That's that's invaluable. It really is. Seven hundred eighty-five. Seven hundred eighty. Is it affected by moderators? Nope, because I've got a big fat Donny on the end there. And it's working by radar, remember? It's recording the pellet, not the noise. 853. 853. How accurate is that little wireless chrono at catching those numbers? Well, all I can tell you, I've shot it side by side against all the other chronographs that I own. And against all the other ones, there's a standard deviation of around 10 to 12 feet per second across all of them. So it's as accurate as any of the others. Positioning the chronograph is really quite simple. Each style of rifle prefers the chronograph in a slightly different position. Some prefer it back from the front of the barrel and some prefer it towards the front of the barrel. You just need to fire a few test shots and you'll soon find out which is the best position for your rifle. One other thing, you always need to make sure that that chronograph is pointing in the same way that the shot is going. And lining all that up is easy because you've got these grooves on top to guide you. I don't get told all the secrets, obviously, but I think the chronograph is recording around six inches either side of it and around a meter in front. BB CO2 pistols? Yeah, indeed you do. If you want to do rapid fire, I select that you turn your voice off. It gets a little bit behind. CO2 BB pistols, no problem. Do you want to practice standing and shooting with your Springer? 714. Yep, you can do that. 700. 698. And yes, it works with airsoft guns. And for all you bow shooters out there, well, it's quite simple. You either attach that to your bow or you shoot over the top of it. 265, 262. Here's my top tip for when you're using this chronograph. Don't shoot it. Otherwise, you're going to go home crying like a Colombian who's just been given a bag of sugar for his birthday. So what am I going to do with my old crony now? Well, I'm always looking for a new backstop. 700. Look at that. I've got three through the same hole just there. Now don't get upset. This is crony number three that I've destroyed. I actually ruined this one the other day. Look at the back. The screen worked, but nothing else did. What's the price for this little box of magic? Well, FX is saying it's actually going to be less than one of these and the app software that i've shown you it's still under development there's lots more things to be added in there yet and they're going to be available later on in 2019 so keep checking with your local dealer but now everyone can within a few seconds find out what power that air gun is putting out and when you have finished you can just put it straight back in your pocket if you've liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I'm going back in the warm now. Toodaloo. Yeah, I want to try the 100 yard gong. Oh! 100 yard gonger. Right again.